In Israel, what percentage of the market do you control in this area of ice cream? So, so the, the ice cream market in Israel, it's, uh, it's unique. 60% of the market, it's uh, out of home. It's uh, imports like uh, sticks, cones, uh, mini cups, because many people are, you know, spending time out of home, like beaches, uh, streets. So all the kiosks, the convenience stores are very, very popular. In the pint business, in the home packaging, we are 50% of the market, which is unique. 50%? Wow. You won against Ben & Jerry's corporate, which is quite a, a David and Goliath story. So congratulations on doing so. You were very much the uh, Lion of Judah in fighting this issue, taking up the matters in courts, costing you millions of dollars, and really defending the pride of the state of Israel for its position as non-discriminatory and ice cream for all. So this is what gave me the, the strength to, to, to go and fight on because I... I felt that I cannot uh, agree to this. Your company truly reflects the fabric of the state of Israel, of companies that engage with people of all different backgrounds with a common goal. Actually, the, the, where, where we're going to build the factory, the, it's an industrial zone. Intel has like two huge factories, uh, HP. I mean, it's, they are already very high, sophisticated uh, factories. So Kiryat will be known now for chocolate chips and yeah. computer chips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben & Jerry's being such a large part of the market and such a large part of happiness. What has Ben & Jerry's been doing since, Ben & Jerry's Israel, been doing since October 7th? We joined with the Magen David. It's, uh, you know, to, they, they needed the to donation of blood. So we, we, we came up with a major campaign uh, to encourage people to, you know, give a pint, get a pint. If you give a pint of uh, to see more conversations with extraordinary Israeli business entrepreneurs, visit theisraelconference.org.